people might not want to be outside today though with that you higher know, heat. Or you want to be in the water. Yeah. <laughs> for that matter, hopefully everyone has a chance and didn't put their pool away just yet. In fact, uh, watching St. Joe right now, you can see boat traffic is pretty heavy out there. Lots of folks heading towards the beach, heading towards the pool, and it's a great day to do it out there. Plenty of sunshine. We do have a few clouds in the area, but current temperature in St. Joe, 78 degrees. Not too bad. Does feel a little bit warmer thanks to that dew point. Once it gets past the 60s, but certainly once it gets past those 70s, that's when you start to feel more of that mugginess, that uh, moisture in the atmosphere. So it does feel like 80 degrees outside, and that is going to continue to rise as we head into the coming days. Currently across Michiana, those temperatures are still hot out there. 70s are 88 in South Bend, rather 76 in South Bend, 78 in Michigan City. Knox is at 86 with sunshine there, but a few more clouds on the eastern edge of Michiana. Sturgis and LaGrange are both coming in at 87 degrees, but it does feel warm all across the Midwest and into the Central Plains as well. Take a look at Wichita right now. That's the current temperature, 108 degrees. This boy or this heat is going to continue as we head into those coming days. And in fact, taking a look at what we're expecting as far as above average temperatures. Now, normally we should should be around that 80 degrees upper 70s at this time of year. By tomorrow, we're still stuck in those warm temperatures. Tuesday stuck in them. Wednesday, a little bit more so and on into Thursday before we start to get a break as we head into Friday. And those temperatures will drop down a bit. So as we take a look at our expected highs, we're going to be in that 90 degree mark tomorrow, flirting with it on Tuesday, passing it on Wednesday, Thursday. Flirting with 100 degrees. It is certainly going to feel even warmer than that, feeling like over 100 for both Wednesday and Thursday. And that's when we'll drop those temperatures a bit. Still warm, though, in the upper 80s as we head into Friday. Again, as I was saying, we increase those temperatures. We increase the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, and that makes it feel even warmer than what those actual temperatures in are. And that's what we're looking at as far as our heat index. So I want to kind of time this out for you here so you can see what's expected. By the time we get towards tomorrow afternoon, temperatures high around 90, going to feel like those upper or mid 90s. Then as we head into Wednesday, that's when that heat really begins to build in. Feels more like 103 for most of us in Michiana. And as we head into Thursday, feels even warmer. We could be flirting with those temperatures around 105. Feels like temperatures and even warm as you head towards that 10 o'clock hour. And unfortunately, we don't have too many chances for rain showers. Just about a 20% chance on Wednesday and Friday. So we'll time things out for you here on Future Track. Not much going on, just a few clouds, maybe partly cloudy overnight. Tomorrow you wake up to those mild temperatures in the upper 60s. We hit that 90 degree mark tomorrow. A mix of sun and clouds for the day for us. We'll see more sunshine as we head into Tuesday. That's going to allow those temperatures to warm up nicely. And then as we head into Wednesday morning, that's when we'll see our best chance for a little bit of rain coming on through early in the morning. We'll be uh, keeping our track on that one. Go ahead and look at that 10 day forecast. That's where that heat definitely moves in Wednesday and on into Thursday, flirting with record temperatures before we see things cool back down into next weekend. We'll be back after this.